guys, I'm Mooney, you're watching Mooney Reads, and today I bring you a series review. The series I'm talking about is The Shadow Children by Margaret Peterson Haddix, or Haddix, because I really don't know how to say it. The series is composed of seven books, and I have them all right here. Among the Hidden, Among the Imposters, Among the Betrayed, Among the Barons, Among the Brave, Among the Enemy, and finally, Among the Freed. So let's get into it, shall we? These books are based in a world where couples are only allowed to have two children. These books are based in a world where couples are only allowed to have two children. But there are some couples who break the rules and have three children, and these children must stay hidden at all costs. No one can know of their existence because the government will kill this ch these children and also, people can turn them in for money or for food because in this world, food is like not a, something everyone has. The book follows not one but a few characters. The main character is Luke Gardner. Luke is a really cool character who goes through a lot of character development in my opinion except some people would say that in the last book he kind of goes back to the way he used to be, like all that character growth kind of gets lost. But overall, I think it's mostly because you hear from him from other people's perspectives and what they see of him. So when you read about him again, y you realize that maybe all that growth is what other people perceive and not necessarily what he sees of himself. All in all, I think that this is an amazing dystopian series. On the back of the books it actually says that this is for middle grade but in the second book it actually says an LAA best book for young adults. So what I think this is is this was YA before YA was a thing because even though the, the characters are really young I would not give this series to a an eight-year-old even if that eight-year-old was as intense as I was when I was eight because there is death and torture and kind of sexual abuse in these books and I don't think that that's something eight-year-olds should be reading about, no. So I think that if you enjoy YA, you might enjoy this if you also enjoy the writing in middle grade because this is written kind of in a middle grade sort of way but the themes in it are definitely YA. I think this was like literally YA before YA was a thing and but I will warn you that the books are not always from the same perspective so if you don't enjoy that don't pick it up because you're gonna get annoyed I got annoyed at it at first until I realized that I loved every uh, one of the other characters every character just was amazing to me and reading about their stories their struggles their different sort of lives how Luke was like taken care of by his parents and then there's this character named Nina who was taken care of by her aunties and she was like their little princess and then children who actually got thrown to the streets to to the gutters and how they lived in the gutters of the streets. I just thought that every character and their perspective was really really amazing and if you like dystopian and if you like action packed books I would definitely recommend this series. As for me, the series as a whole, I would give it 4 out of 5 stars, except the last book. I actually already read this book, so to me, the last book gets a 5 out of 5. I know a lot of people are not going to agree with me, a lot of people didn't like this book, but the last two paragraphs in this book sealed the deal for me. I cried like a baby reading this, and I was at work, so you can imagine how that went. But really, guys, if you like dystopia, if you like YA, and also you like the kind of um, middle grade writing, I would definitely recommend you pick this series up. You won't regret it. Oh, well, I don't, I don't think you'll regret it. I didn't regret it. And yeah, definitely pick it up. It's amazing. It truly is amazing. And a lot, I've seen that a lot of people don't really like Hadix's writing, but I found it really nice in this series in particular. So yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I didn't give anything important away. I'm sorry if I did. But um, like I said, I'm still really new at reviews and I kind of still suck at them. 
but I'm trying really hard. And until next time, please like, subscribe, do your thing. And if you've read this or if you're interested in reading this, please leave a comment down below letting me know how, what was it like for you and if you liked it at all or not. And until next time, I'm Moody and you just watched Moody Reads. And I don't know why I said that because I never said that before, but yeah.